from Johnny Come Lately and they say military law and order law of war manual EO 13818 EO 13912 EO 13848 EO 11110 it reminds me of that song that bingo song B-I-N-G-O well anyways we are currently in a COG continuance of con continuity of government. Who's we? Does Johnny come lately have a mouse in his pocket? The unlawful foreign private for profit DC corporation is dead bankrupt and has never been part of the States for America Republic. I love how people like this come on here and just throw stuff against the wall to see if it's going to stick. With no explanation, no closure, no continuance of the evidence, nothing. They just spout out whatever, stats, statutes, codes, which, by the way, I took what they wrote there at the beginning. I copy and pasted it into search engines. Nothing came up. Absolutely zero. Which tells me that whatever they're talking about, probably has to do with them in the land of Narnia somewhere and has nothing to do with what I'm dealing with in my biosphere, in my world, on the earth that I navigate through. Which, by the way, folks, is very possible. There are, quote-unquote, all sorts of different worlds out there. And... Uh, as the New Agers say, you create your own reality. And Johnny Come Lately definitely has theirs. Next comment comes from Don John Swaggart. And they say, For the pleasure of my ears are with the hearing of your voice. Very valiant attempt at correct sentence structure, which falls very short and fails miserably for a number of reasons. The positional concatenation is 100% incorrect. The verb is incorrect. There are particles of negation in their facts. And it actually makes no sense. To start off with, for the pleasure. So that is the cause of the sentence. Pleasure is singular. So why is the verb plural? Well, I can tell you why. Because Don John Swaggart doesn't know what they're doing. The verb would be singular in this instance is because the cause is singular. So the cause of the sentence is pleasure. What's the pleasure concerned with? Don John Swaggart's ears. What's possessing the ears? The hearing. ING is a particle of negation. One zero zeroes out a multiplication problem. So therefore, this is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. Fiction babble. And the final piece of evidence of this is that they don't end on an authority, they end on a concern. Every sentence must end on a by the, not of the. So, there you go. So we have, for the pleasure of my ears are with the hearing of your voice, we have pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, Adjective, adjective, pronoun, adverb, 
adjective pronoun, adverb, dangling, participle verb. So that's what you have right there. You have a 4134, 1334, 13412 DPV. And that's your correct sentence structure lesson. Free of charge from me to you, Don John Swaggart. Next comment comes from Psycho Rose. <laughs> and they say, any thoughts on archaics information? Well, yes. I have many thoughts on it. And I have shared those in the past in videos that you can check out on this YouTube channel. I actually did a Coral Blade Grotto reaction video. And I actually had some interaction with the, the guy. What's his name? Jason... I can't remember his last name. Jason, whoever he is. His name is also Jason. Um, I actually challenged him on his material. And he initially commented on my post, on my channel. He commented saying he welcomed any challenge. Bring it. And I brought it and he disappeared. He vanished. He stopped responding. So then I actually went over to his channel and commented a couple times and he deleted my comments so my thoughts on the archaics information well the information that they share is speculative okay there is no proof of it no concrete proof and by proof folks what i mean by proof is that this is a headset headphones right with a mic i can hook this up to a device and you can hear it through the headphones and use it as a mic i can prove this to you i can demonstrate to you and it has tangible evidence of what this is and its purpose archaics can't do the same thing all they can do is share reams and reams of books and speculation and blah 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 about timelines and this and that and simulations and the very nature of a simulation is that the people that are in the simulation have no idea it's a simulation and even if it is you can't prove it so my thoughts on it it's very interesting it's very compelling and I would highly recommend that if you want to pass your time with that type of uh, activity, read The Lord of the Rings. It's much more entertaining and actually a little bit more believable than archaics. Another comment from Don John Swaggart. And they say, I wonder why the individual after the subject of all capital names came up why she did not simply mention the three levels of capitalization it clearly states to the reader what capitus is well don john swaggart she's just not as intelligent as you are matter of fact probably none of us on this channel are as intelligent as you are because you have all the answers bro Thanks for sharing. All right, folks, this next comment is gonna be involved. I'll try and get through it as quick as I can. This is a perfect example of someone who thinks they know some kind of secret, and maybe they do, maybe they do, but they come off as, in a way, arrogant and presumptuous because, number one, they have not read the community guidelines. They have no idea what the rules are of the vessel that they're a guest of. Folks, when you comment on a YouTube channel video, you are a guest there. If I go into someone else's channel, someone else's video, and I decide to commit to leaving a comment there, I know that there are community guidelines. And I try to educate myself to find out etiquette, you know, to find out what the terms and conditions are of commenting there before I open my mouth. And the long and short of it is, this channel is a correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar channel. 
Okay? If you make a claim, you got to provide proof for it. That's why I go so hard on the people that make claims on here and don't, don't give any evidence. Because they obviously haven't read the community guidelines. They don't know the rules. And usually, and, you know, I hesitate to use this term, but usually these type of people are from North America. Very rude and just think they can go do whatever they want to do and think that they know everything and they're smarter than everybody else. That's, you will find this if you travel outside or communicate with people outside of North America other continents on earth you will find that most people think of quote unquote Americans as arrogant and also idiotic because most you know the Americans that I've come in contact with are they they do have that arrogance which is completely unfounded there's a difference between arrogance and confidence and this individual comes off like that because what are they doing they're coming onto a channel that has over a thousand videos of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge. A tutor who has over seven years of teaching correct sentence structure, who makes it very clear that this channel is about the grammar. First and foremost, we can go off into different, you know, tangents down different pathways, but they all have to connect to this grammar. And in order, order to have a position to say anything, you got to know the grammar, which this individual doesn't. And more importantly, in the community guidelines, I specifically say, this is not a platform for you to advertise what you do. It's not a, a platform for you to preach your belief system. You can go do that, make your own channel and go do that. This is not an advertising platform for your channel. I don't care who you are or what you do. It just isn't. I could go on and on. But Task Force has no idea about this. They just think they can go wherever they want and say whatever they want. And that's why I did not publish this comment. But I will use it as content in this video. So they start off with a bracket and an hysteric. And they say, very interesting. A person, an individual, makes you a corporate entity. The first sentence right off the bat tells me where they're at. Firmly ensconced in the fiction system. This individual is completely in, ensconced, entrenched, and trapped in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. So now we can use that lens to look at what they're doing. Because if we just used correct sentence structure to look at it, I would just delete the comment and be done with it. Because this individual obviously has no volition to learn anything. Their cup is far from empty. Their cup is overflowing and full and nothing else can be put into it. And you will see why. Human, monstrous, subhuman, no nativity to own any land. The mere idea of owning land in a factual sense, is repugnant to me. Anyone who thinks they can actually own land is completely ignorant, to me, of morals and values. That would be like saying you can own air, or own water, or own humans. The whole concept of ownership is repugnant to me. That's why I use the word stewardship. Is it getting through, folks? I say misrepresentation all the way around. We need to get to the bottom of stuff. All the stuff. I see your educated Percy syntax grammar. Percy. What in the Sam's hell is Percy? Congratulations. Thank you. Is this a study from David Wynn Miller? Who's David W-I-N-N -N Miller? Or Mark K. Christopher, what in the hell's going on? They don't even know where to put colons. So as I said before, they have zero knowledge of correct sentence structure. So we have to approach this 
no matter how difficult it is, from the balance of honor and grace. Because this individual is completely ignorant. They are an ignoramus, so to speak. The point is, the toxic words and the toxic language and that the government is a corporation and that we've been hoodwinked in parentheses. Why? You're already in brackets. Why are you putting parentheses? Sound familiar? Smiley face. Into signing our signatures to be human trafficked on the market. You have some valid points. We should all live by facts and not by presumption and assumption. Maybe you can, you know, that's another thing, another piece of evidence that they don't read the terms and conditions of the vessel of which they're a guest of. I clearly state, do not tell other people what they should or shouldn't do. Here they are telling people what they should do. Why? Because I'm sure that they think, I'm sure that task force thinks that they know what's best for everybody, right? That's why they're talking like this. And that's a guess on my part. Maybe you can give someone else a chance who has the education that you do for a fair level playing conversation. Maybe you can give someone else a chance who has the education that you do for a fair... Who else has the education that I do? Who else? Who else has the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge level that I do? Make a list. That, that's a challenge. I, I'm not being arrogant, or I'm, I'm not trying to come off as arrogant. I'm being straight up blunt. Who else has the correct sentence structure knowledge that I do out there? Who else has a YouTube channel with a thousand videos? Who else has taught hundreds of people all over the earth specifically correct sentence structure mechanics and workshops over seven plus years? Who else? Have you task force? I don't think so. So what makes you think that you can enter onto that geometric level plane with me. You can't. It's not fair. That's why I'm using the balance of the honor and the grace here. Because we have to meet in the fiction. Because that's where you are. I have to meet you where you are. In this now space right now reading this comment. Because you certainly don't have the guts or the knowledge to meet me where I am. We do need to figure out who's who, what's what. Who's we? Do you have a mouse in your pocket? Are you talking about you and the voices in your head? For myself, in my own biosphere and what I do, I already know the answers to that. For myself. And that's the thing. Everybody has to figure that out on their own for themselves. Okay? Because the answer may be different for each individual. And I'm not going to assume and presume that what is right for me is right for you. What we do know is all contracts are fraudulent under fraudulent grammar. Again, this is all a matter of perspective. I contract every day using adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. The most important thing behind a contract is volition. Contract is by consent. If you consent to it, it's a contract. Period. End of story. So if you're going to look at it through the lens of correct sentence structure, which you cannot because you don't have any knowledge of it, but let's say someone does have knowledge of correct sentence structure, then yes, any contract not written in correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar is considered fraudulent. Yes. In that context, in the context of live life claimants who have closure on the grammar, of which you are not one. So you have no basis to even talk about that. But if you're in the fiction, which you are, then you're assuming that. And I'm telling you you're assuming that because you have no knowledge of correct sentence structure. Hope that makes sense. We have plenty of laws dating back. Black's Law Dictionaries, yada, yada. We can prove now that the government is a corporation, that everything we have known and been taught is nothing but a straight-up lie. Entrapment, slavery with no power of attorney, with no rights. 
Again, I disagree with that. There are plenty of rights in the fiction system. The power of something comes from what someone imbues to it. Or to put it another way, the value of a thing is what you ascribe to it. The reason why the fiction system has power is because people give it power. It's that simple. If we're going to talk about this, let's talk about it. There, <laughs> you're in a comments field in a, in a YouTube comments section, bro. I don't know how much you can talk about something because it's just going to be a one-sided conversation. Just like you leaving that comment is one-sided. Me responding to it is one-sided as well. The only way that you and I could have uh, could talk about it would be as if you contact me, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. That's the only way. Because, you see, that's also how contract works. Because I have no reason to talk to you. You have... Nothing that I see from what you put in this comment makes me even in the least bit curious about you or what you know. On the other hand, you don't know anything about correct sentence structure. So if you want to learn about it, you're more than welcome to contact me. And because you may or may not want something from me, it would be contingent upon you to contact me. That's most times how contract works. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's talk about who is really running the world. Where are we going to go now? Where are we going to go now? Are we going to keep contracting? Keep allowing them to use us from the public purse? What is this person talking about? I am not a straw man slash women good for you i am a living breathing woman with all power of attorney over myself and my assets existence cool bravo well done we all need to stand up and make our voices known educate ourselves is that what we need to do see this individual is presuming that they know what's best for everyone again showing from my perception a huge modicum of arrogance. The government is nothing more than a child trafficking pedophile ring. And we could go into horrible, horrible details, but I won't on here. Hmm. Well, I mean, we've all read those things. We all see the, the uh, TikToks about it, probably. YouTube videos. Child trafficking is a horrible, horrible thing. But to say that the government is basically a synonym for a child trafficking pedophile ring with the balance of the honor and the grace is not correct. Is not correct. Okay? There may be elements within there that do that, but it's not the whole enchilada, so to speak. That's like saying all of the military is corrupt. Or all of the police force are corrupt. Or all white people are mass murderers. <laughs> you know, or all, what, what can we, what's a, what's a color I can use? All green people are prone to criminality. You know, it's a blanket statement and a logical fallacy. Many are going to wake up into a world within the next couple of weeks and your bubbles will be busted. Oh, and not including all those that are involved. Next couple of weeks. Hmm. That's 14 days. So many are going to wake up into a world. Well, we wake up into a world every single day. So there's nothing wrong with that statement. It's true. Wake up into a world every day, and in two weeks from now, we're going to wake up into a world as well. Uh, and those of you with bubbles, be careful. You know yourself. 
Barbarism is the death penalty as treason. Actually, actually, that brings up a quote from one of my favorite authors, Robert E. Howard, about the barbarian. Civilized man is actually basically, uh, how can we put this? All right. Barbarians don't talk like this to other barbarians because they know there's consequences. Civilized man has grown to the point where they can talk smack about people or talk down to them or condescend them because they don't think there are any going to be any consequences to what they say. Because if you're out in the street and you do that, you could get smacked. There are consequences, physical consequences, for doing that out on the street. But civilized man, civilized man is the criminal. The barbarian might be rude and crude, but they have a code. They know that there are consequences for what they do and say. And this individual obviously <laughs> lands on the civilized part of that. Let's put it that way. And also, they're telling me what I know myself, which is another violation of the terms and conditions of this channel. Telling me what I know. The reason anybody would go to prison, especially people like Mark or David, lost his life, is because they are a danger to the establishment. The reason anybody would go to prison... So you're saying that... Some immigrant who rapes an innocent woman goes to prison because they're a danger to the establishment? Don't you mean a public safety hazard? This is... So, folks, you see what I'm trying to convey here. This individual is piling on presumption upon assumption upon presumption upon assumption, saying the only reason someone would go to prison is because they're a danger to the establishment. Obviously not true. The corporation, let's say the black nobility family, hypothetically, let's just say who annoys the F out of me is people want to go on and on and they don't even really know the facts themselves. You mean like you? I bet you annoy the F out of yourself. <laughs> we need to educate each other, help one another, stand by each other, especially when facts are being taught. Is that what we need to do? Again, task force is telling us all what we need to do because they set themselves above us. They know what's best for us. So we better shut up and do some learning. I have other accounts and I am under f and I am flagged. Party, cry, surprise, laugh. Wow, they are on quite the emotional roller coaster here. I'm under account warning right now on old Tiki Talk. Are you kidding me? Me? No. I don't kid around like that. I think you need to research a little bit. Me, I need to research. Again, telling us what we need to do. Because they have all the answers. And how blessed are we that they decided to comment. And write this huge compendium of useless data by my perception and if you have an opinion then maybe we could just cut to the chase of course i have opinions everybody has opinions right we could talk without it being here on social media maybe we can benefit each other so that all can benefit from our knowledge again this individual is assuming that they can stand with me that they have a position with which to even talk to me which they don't they don't have any correct sentence structure knowledge. So this is a very strange way to approach me. I don't know if they're trying to conflate themselves to sort of build up a resume and a mass of comments so that maybe I'll reach out to them and be like, oh yes, please guru, please teach me what you know about the adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble system because like, 
I'm not in my mid fifties and I haven't been studying since I was 14, 15 years old back in the eighties. Like I just know nothing until I read this comment. <sighs> Isn't that what it's about to hold each other up, to benefit each other, to make others know, to make others know that the government is a corporation, to make others know. That sounds a little bit like force or coercion which gives you a little Freudian slip into their mentality. Done in Bradstreet. Hopefully I spelled that right. Anyhow, this is a little bit of a rundown. A little bit. Bah! The moral of the story, toxic language and toxic words govern our life. The words are not what you think they are. Really? Well, if you ever want to learn about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, you can contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And just like everybody else, you can apply for a workshop, and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. Please include your full correct name in your email, and I'll get back to you within 72 hours. Three-day rescissions. But it Balls in your court. Because I will not be publishing bullshit like this on my YouTube channel. Children, ward of state, up for purchase, dead slave, black dead slave, government to control and to tell the lies, to uphold the lie, government, corporations, pharmaceutical makers of poisons and potions. Says to K accounts, let's see if you keep up my comments. <laughs> let's see if what... You say is fact, and I don't get flagged by you or your people. My people. Who are my people? There's only me. I'm the only one doing this shit. I'm the only one out here. By myself. Lone wolf. Whatever you want to call it. I don't have people. And if I flag your comment, I flag your comment. I'm not publishing this comment because you have violated the terms and conditions of my channel... You have not followed the community guidelines, and that's on you. It's up to you to figure that out. Okay? You are a trespasser here by leaving a comment like this. And I'm saying this in the most gentlest way that I possibly can. Because I don't want to hurt your ego too, too bad. I beg a huge differ with you on just about every level. So you ain't too proud to beg then, huh? Begging and pleading. Again, fiction system mentality. You don't have to beg, bro. You really don't. But I do respect you seeking out what is truth, what is not, and I respect your knowledge and study. From my perception, that is a lie. This should be about us changing everyone's life all around the world. Well, change is modification. Modification is perjury. So why do you want to do that? And why would you concern yourself with that? It's up to each individual to make adjustments to their lives. It's not up to me to convince you to do anything. Everyone must come to it on their own, in their own now space. Once you start trying to force people to do things, or like you said earlier, to make people do things, now you're no better than the fiction system. You're no better than the fiction legal system that get on the third Master Mason plane with the gavel and the black dresses and whatnot. You're no better than them because you're passing out judgments. Mark is now in prison because he was trying to stop the straw man status. No, actually, he was attempting to kidnap another human being, torture them with cattle prods, Maybe lock them in a basement and eventually unalive them. That's why he was arrested. The necromancy upon the people, anyone reading this, they could, they could, I will teach you, and I won't condemn those who sure gave it a damn good try and ended up in prison for it. Does this individual have a grasp of plain, simple English? It doesn't seem like they do because that makes no sense to me. I know that I was taught the law and the facts, and I still seek them today. Why, if you are looking at facts, would you study law? That's a dichotomy. 
I write letters and I add the laws, the statutes, and the facts. I even quote Black's Law Dictionary. Good for you. Myself, I don't need to do any of that. I just use, using correct sentence structure, communication, partially syntax, grammar, I use the three principles. Balance of the honor and the grace, position of peace and neutrality, maintenance of rule one, rule equal. Very simple. I don't need fiction bullshit like you do. Because we live in a controlled corporate world, controlled by the most disgusting human monstrous walking the earth, <laughs> flat earth, by the way. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Full stop. Terry Lynn Clark 2. In brackets, in quotations. So they really don't want to be on the page. So look, whoa, sorry about that. They start out with a bracket. And then they have another bracket here, and then they end with a bracket. That's incorrect use of brackets. So even when they're talking an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, they really don't know what they're doing, especially with some of their sentences that are run on and make no sense at all. But with the balance of the honor and grace, I keep coming back to that. If this individual actually wants to have a yap fest with me, I can gift them 10 to 15 minutes in a video consultation. But first, they have to email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, which you can find at the bottom of your screen. That's the first step. Other than that, we have nothing to talk about because I really have no interest in what this individual has to say as far as this stuff goes because I've heard it all before a thousand times. Next comment comes from Paradigm Pure something or other, and they say, this is my grammar challenge Babel sentence, although it looks like I'm a year too late, lol. My volition is for me and my family, close circle, to enjoy the full benefit of our labor, ideas, abilities, and gifts, and to stop all trespass attempts of malicious third parties by making use of correct sentence structure, communication, order syntax grammar. What's order syntax grammar? Order is no contract. That's interesting. Correct sentence structure, communication, it would be parse. Again, folks, this is, and this is not, 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 I'm not trying to give them a hard time or anything. It's like when, when you leave a comment in a comments field, if it's important to you, you will spell check your comment. You will proofread your comment. You will make sure that it is correct to the best of your knowledge, whether you're using correct sentence structure or plain, simple English. And then you post it depending upon how seriously you want to be taken. It's like me. If I type out a comment and I post it, and then I see that there's a, an error in it, a spelling error or something like that, I will edit it. There is an edit function on YouTube where you can edit your comment. Just saying, folks. How you present yourself and your words is a direct reflection of how serious you take what you're talking about. That's the way I look at it. Taking authority of my words and conducting myself with honor and humility. Arlene Sophia Michelle Suave. Well, thank you very much for that comment. And outside of that uh, little mishap in the middle of correct sentence structure there, I can appreciate that. I honor that. And I hope that you achieve your grammar challenge. Another one from Don John Swaggart, and they say, I too am a beginner, yet more accomplished than you. What do they mean by I too am a beginner? Who else is a beginner besides most of the people that are listening to this right now? Yet more accomplished than you. So they're saying they're more accomplished than me. Interesting. You have a mistake here where you say, D-I-V-I -I instead of D-I hyphen V-I-S. Whereas for me personally as a layman and hardly, if any superior is two visions looking at things in two different ways. Yet, yet, this only comes my slightly greater than rudimentary comprehension of Greek and Latin. Actually, it also comes from your less than rudimentary grasp of plain simple English because I don't understand anything you're saying right here at all this is wrong and why are you putting spaces in between the letters that makes absolutely no sense 
and your adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble is not in brackets. So that tells me you have less than zero knowledge of correct sentence structure. So this particular comment goes in the troll bin. <laughs> Thanks for your entertainment, though. Next one comes from Lone Rangers, and they say, nice. Well, if that is true, which I know it is, why does no one do anything about what has been going on for all these decades to pull fraud to pull fraud on all the Earth's people? No one who has this knowledge is doing anything about it in real life. And my kuleana to that is, if you feel some type of way, why don't you do something about it instead of expecting someone else to do it for you? And that's the gentlest way I can put it. You got all these folks, sort of like Long, Lone Ranger, who are out there whining and complaining, looking for someone to save them, looking for something, someone to do something about it, while they themselves just sit there and whine. Instead of whining, why don't you do something about it? Why don't you, instead of you know telling other people what they should or shouldn't do, well, if you have this knowledge, you should go out and do this. Instead of doing that, just go do it yourself. Take some accountability, man, for Odin's sake. <laughs> Final comment comes from Jeanette Jensen, and they say, because that flag is for the 1871 corporation and not the de jure United States of America is my guess. And then my kuleana to that was, your guess? Was there a question asked that I'm not, not aware of? Now, the reason why I said that is the post that they are commenting on well, I'll just show it to you. So this is the post they're commenting on, where in quotations I said, flags are vessels of communication. Any modification of a flag nullify that flag's constitution and negate the standing contract. And then in the picture, you see I circle the chicken with the wings down. And in italics, it says Vatican jurisdiction over the proceedings because Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller mentioned multiple times that this particular finale signifies Vatican jurisdiction, whereas if the chicken has the wings up, it signifies postal or presidential. So that's why I put that. Now, I didn't ask a question in here. I'm not asking a question. I'm making a statement in quotations. And then they say, because that flag is for the 1871 corporation, as if there was a question asked, with their, which there wasn't. So what I was trying to direct the viewer's attention to, Jeanette Jensen's attention to, is that there was no question asked. So in the correct sentence structure psychology, you're not here to make assumptions and presumptions. Because from my perception, Jeanette is assuming I'm asking a question, but I'm not. There is no question there, yet they're trying to give an answer. So it's a very subtle thing in how you present things. Instead of saying, because that flag is for the 1871, blah, 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 to void the presumption assumption of, of things, Jeanette could have just said, from my study, I've found out that one possibility for that flag is that it's for the 1871 corporation and not the blah, blah, blah. They could have phrased it that way. And then there would have been no issue. But then again, I wouldn't have been able to use this as a knowledge cultivation tool either. But I don't think they, they got that. It had nothing to do with the flag. It had everything to do with the way they began their comment because there was no question asked. Why would you offer answers when no question has been asked? And that's, you know, this comes down to like interrogation techniques and things like that. Um, knowing what to do and when to do it is very, very important in, and critical in these venues when you are under scrutiny and so on and so forth. And that's just basically I was trying to 
touch on a little bit of that psychology. But I do appreciate your viewership. Appreciate you watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.